What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Hoops Perspective. I'd like to give a special shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video today. SeatGeek is a ticket app that takes the confusion out of buying tickets, all right? They use a 0 out of 10 score on each ticket to know if you're getting a good or a bad deal. Green means good, red means bad. All right, don't waste any more time today. Get your first tickets using my promo code Hoops Perspective to take $20 off your first purchase. That's promo code Hoops Perspective. Now let's get into the video. Although it's still very early in the season, John Morant has already shown he belongs in the NBA. The wiry and explosive rookie point guard at Murray State has shown each game that he's more than a super athletic point guard. Granted, his athleticism is a big part of his game, but Jaws made the transition from college to the NBA look effortless not because he's just a great athlete. It's his high basketball IQ and skill level that's allowing him to shine on the biggest stage. In this video, I'll be showing you guys the things that Ja is doing to perform so well at the NBA level and how he's already ahead of the curve compared to other rookie point guards. Let's start with his play in the pick and roll. My first video on Ja I talked about his poise and talent in the pick and roll and so far it looks like Ja has the potential to be a great pick and roll point guard in the NBA. Let's take a look at a few plays. Here Ja is being defended by Ricky Rubio. Jan Jackson sets the screen going left and Rubio immediately goes under. Now here, Ja could have easily settled for the contested mid-range pull-up, but he stays poised and waits till Rubio switches back on him, and then he makes the quick alley pass at the rim for Jared. Here he gets a ball screen going left from Valanchunas, and Nunn reacts to it by fighting over the top. Instead of forcing the issue, he keeps his dribble alive and pins Nunn behind him with his body. This puts Myers Leonard in a position to guard both ball and man. Jaw then attacks the basket, forcing Leonard to cut him off, which leaves Valanciunas wide open to receive the pass. It's great seeing a young point guard utilize the pick and roll so effectively, but Jaw sets up his teammates in other ways too. His speed and athleticism obviously makes him a threat attacking the basket. So Jaw does a great job drawing attention from help defenders and kicking it to the open man on the perimeter. Now despite his great passing ability, I can't ignore his high turnover numbers. When you give the keys to a franchise to a young point guard, it's expected that he'll have some trouble taking care of the basketball. So it's really not much of a red flag at the moment. This is something that will be an ongoing thing throughout the season, but his overall impact on the game right now overshadows this one flaw. I'm also very impressed on how efficiently Ja has been scoring the ball early in the season. It's not surprising that Ja can still get to the rim whenever he wants at the NBA level. But there were some concerns a few months ago if he could finish consistently around the rim since he has such a skinny frame. But so far, Jaws not having much trouble adjusting to the physicality. Jaws a lot stronger than people give him credit for, and even when he gets banged up, his athleticism and body control allows him to finish through contact. But so far, Ja has shown he knows when and when not to attack the hoop so aggressively. He knows how to slow things down when he's attacking the basket and rise up and knock down high arc and floaters. A move like this in your repertoire is important to have for a young guard. You're not going to be able to dunk and finish over every big man in the league. So having a move like this in your arsenal would benefit him greatly in the long run. Jaws jump shot was another concern coming into the season, but right now he's making defenders pay for sagging off or going under ball screens. If he keeps up his consistent shooting, the defense will have no choice but to contest his shot. Doing this will open up more opportunities for Ja to attack the basket which is his bread and butter in the first place. More than anything, it looks like Ja really embraces the moment in game time situations. Against the Nets, he really carried the load offensively in the fourth quarter, and then he takes on the challenge on guarding arguably the best one-on-one -on -one scorer in the league and blocks a shot. Having confidence as a young player is huge for their development. You can have all the talent in the world, but it doesn't matter when you step on that court if you don't have confidence in your game, and it looks like Ja doesn't have that issue. I'm excited to see what type of year Ja will have when it's all said and done. There are other talented rookies playing well right now, so the rookie of the year race should be a close one. But regardless if he wins the award or not, the future is bright for this kid. Hopefully he can remain healthy so we can really see him develop into a star one day.